I wanted to uh, welcome everybody and thank you all for trekking out on O oh, Winter is Here night mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, let you know that I was on the board know, almost 25 years ago uh, and wanted to thank Rosemary Mulryan again because uh, she recruited me back then and uh, has been ever helpful and wonderful as always in guiding us along and uh, a few things have changed since uh, 1989 when I was on the board. My hair is great, my hair. <laughs> I'm a little bit shorter. <laughs> and the library is in this really amazing space, and I'm pretty happy about that. So uh, thanks to everybody who has been involved in that, and uh, we'll talk about a you little bit more. Hair, right? What's that? Everyone has been involved in your hair, right? Yeah. yeah. That's right. <laughs> yeah. I, I do want to take a moment and uh, second what Cheryl said and thank Brad for coming in at a really difficult time and creating some order out of chaos and moving us all to this point where we are now. It's really, I know, it's been a lot of hours because it's been a lot of hours and I appreciate them all and I'm sure everybody here does as well. And I wanted to thank uh, Kit Duffy who isn't here this evening who also served on the task force to help select uh, the great new board that we have here and who will be moving forward. Um, and, and to thank Karen Sensiak who, for tireless is just the perfect word. She's like the energizer bunny. She just goes on and on and on. And she is, um, I would say she is responsible for the organization's existence at this point. And I appreciate everything that she's done. And, and she knows that. So the threshold of our future. Oh, and by the way, I had to write the notes in big type. That's another thing that's changed. <laughs> We're on the, we're on the, what did you use, you used a great phrase earlier. I was going to say the threshold of our future, but Brad said, our new chapter. Yeah. Well, uh, which, we're, we're Scott Burke, he could come up with a pun for us. Um, anyway, uh, we're, we've been around for 32 years, and we're ready for the next 32. Uh, there's a, we have a great foundation to build on an unbelievable collection uh, and library and uh, I believe space for people to come. We have some goals coming up and the first one of them is transparency and community involvement. So those are things that we commit to everybody here and to everybody who is soon to come through the door we hope. And uh, we're always available for questions and we'll hold regular meetings where people can come in and give us feedback and participate. Uh, so transparency is our number one new goal, I think. Community involvement, that means us involved in the community, and it also means the community involved with us. So I think the organization has always been uh, a, a, an important part of the community, and I think we can um, make that happen bigger, better, stronger, happier now. So. We will be having some public hours. I would like to announce that the library will be open for its uh, first time on December 12th, which is Saturday, from 12 to 6. And then we'll be open every Thursday in December from 6 to 9. We are starting really slowly. We're just going to take some baby steps. The board members are going to staff the library with um, Steph and with Louise and with uh, Lucas. And so we want to kind of see what happens and who comes in and start to develop things and just kind of see how it goes. And we want to start getting some volunteers to join us and to, to build the core again. We know we know you're out there and I know you especially here who have, who have made it here tonight, um, we're, going to, we're going to be counting on you. So we're going to start slowly. Oh, there you are, Mr. Pond. I didn't see you. Um, and we'll be uh, getting back up to as many hours as we need to be open to serve the community. Um, the library and the archives will be available. The archives has been available all along and there have been people who have uh, utilized it for research and I believe there's some been some interlibrary loans for the yes. books. So we've been kind of working, but now we're going to be working with uh, live bodies here with us, which we're happy about. Programming, uh, as you can see here, this is the uh, first official exhibit from uh, MCC. We're, uh, thrilled to have that here and we'll be doing a whole program uh, uh, involving uh, their history and their generous gift to the organization in uh, January and hopefully some of you programming people have some ideas for things that we can do and will uh, help us out with that. The other big thing is securing our future and that 
absolutely is dependent on everybody's involvement and uh, we, we need you. We need everybody and we have some specific, specific things to ask for. We need volunteers. Well, hello there. Here's another board member. Come in here. Hi, everyone. Sorry, I keep talking. <laughs> <laughs> Charles Katzemeyer is another uh, board member who will be uh, continuing on with us. He works at the, the Field Museum, so he, uh, he'll be uh, joining us with our efforts. Um, we need volunteers. We are going to have some information for you in a few minutes that will help you volunteer now and uh, tell your friends. We need you to come here and use the facilities, and I don't mean the bathroom. <laughs> but you can use that too, if you like. Um, we need some people to join the board. There are eight of us, I believe, and we have the capacity of 15 currently, so we're looking for some people to join us on the board to bring your skills, your energy, and your enthusiasm, and your checkbook. And uh, That leads me to the next thing we need. We need you to donate your money. So we'll be asking you for that, too. And or materials. Well, we'll get to that. <laughs> so what we need is, we need your time, we need your ideas, we need your support, and we need your money. Did I mention that earlier? <laughs> oh, I'm really nervous. Um, I'd like to announce that our first, uh, our first events we have uh, scheduled for three donor events scheduled for the first half of uh, next year. The first will be on January 10th, and uh, Marianne Smith will be uh, hosting it in her house for donors, and Jill Austin from the History Museum will be speaking about the uh, importance of archives or whatever cool name she wants to give her speech. Thank you very much for that, Jill. Um, later on in the year, in March, uh, we'll be having another event. Uh, one will be about programming, and then our third event will be about the future of libraries. So I uh, look forward to those. We'll be sending you invitations and uh, asking you to join us and asking you to ask your friends to join us uh, for those events. I'm going to skip through this one. Oh, and then the Fall Gala. We missed it this year. We tried. We really, really tried. And then we got really involved in making this happen. So we thought, OK, we can take a little year off next fall. Shine your shoes, get your outfits ready, all right? So Charles has assured me that it's going to be slamming. It's a certainty. A certainty, he says. <laughs> it will be slamming. And we'll be inviting you to that as well. Um, now what I want to do is take a couple of minutes to pass out some forms that we would like you to fill out now to either, oh, did I mention donate? <laughs> or volunteer. So we're going to pass these or out. Both. Or both. You can do both. We're going to pass these out now. If you could fill them out now, that would be great. I don't think we thought of bringing pens or pencils because there's just been a lot of details. So um, Jack has pens, right? No, I give it away. No. And then we're also going to pass out a uh, survey. We would like your input now, some ideas for programming, things that bring you to the library. We want to start uh, doing kind of like a focus group. You're our original focus group. We're not going to sit behind any mirrors, though. And then uh, these, these things will also be on the website, so if you want to go later or you want to tell your friends, there's a place to donate, there's a place to volunteer, and we will be responding. We know that in the past some people have volunteered or donated and we were not uh, responsive as we should have been, and I promise you that that will change immediately and that we will be counting on you and calling you back and expecting you to show up. And then after we're finished with that, Don ever ever there. Uh, we'll pass these out and then um, after that we can take some more questions if you have any and then um, for those, did everybody get the chance to see the archives and the special collection? Okay, and if you did not we'd be happy to spend some time with you there and then we invite you to mill about and do whatever milling you want to do. Yes. Yes. Oh great. So Derek said we'll be audio taping the presentations at our events and have them on the website. We've gotten some uh, great uh, help through Amy's connections to uh, do help us with some of our social media. So we're really going to, you're going to be hearing from us and about us. And actually, we want you to be us. So fill out the forms. We'll take a couple of minutes, and then uh, we'll take some more questions. <laughs>